<laughs> oh, hello! Welcome to our cafe! The best cafe in the world! <laughs> I'm staying out of Ben's way at the moment. He's in a terrible flap and I've got no idea why. His face looks like this. <laughs> you wait and see. Oh, 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 We've got a problem. <sighs> Calm down, Ben. Whatever's the matter? Oh, hello, everyone. It's Aunt Millie's birthday, and we haven't got her a present. Oh, it's Aunt Millie's birthday, and we haven't got her a present. Oh, dear. Well, well maybe we could buy her one. Ben, we haven't got time. We're in the cafe all day. Uh, well, well, perhaps we could cook her something. You know what Aunt Millie's like about food? I don't like this. I don't like that. Well, what are we going to do? I don't know. I really don't know. Huh? We've got a customer. A customer? Well, customers come first, Ben. But we still need to get something for Aunt Millie's birthday. We'll have to think of that later, Small. Go and see who the customer is. I'm on my way! Who is it today, Small? I'll give you some clues. See if you can guess too. It's someone who likes growing silver bells and cockle shells and pretty maids all in a row. Is it a girl or is it a boy? It's a girl. A girl who likes spending lots of time in her garden. Oh, I think I know who it is. Is it Mary Mary? Yes, it is, Ben. It's Mary Mary, quite contrary, from the flower garden. Mary Mary, quite contrary. How does your garden grow? With silver bells and cockle shells And pretty maids all in a row Ho-ho! I bet she's hungry after all that watering and weeding. Now what shall we cook for her? What would somebody who grows flowers like to eat? I think it's time to look in my book. We need a story to help us cook. Let's take a look in Little Cook's book. Little Cook's adventures in the big world. Let me see. This is a story about Mary Mary, who more than anything in the world loved her flower garden. Lots of people came to Mary's stall to buy her beautiful flowers. Sometimes a bunch of tulips, or daffodils, or sometimes just one rose. It was lucky Mary Mary had a big garden, just the place to grow lots and lots of different flowers. But to grow flowers, you need seeds. Today she was going to plant some more. She went to her shed and picked up a seed packet. She planted the seeds in little rows all over the garden and watered them with her watering can. Then there was nothing to do but wait for the seeds to grow. So she waited and waited and waited until one morning she came out and as far as the eye could see, there were hundreds and hundreds of big green leafy things and not a single flower in sight. Mary Mary was so disappointed, she just sat down and cried. I knew I had to help. Poor thing, she thought she was a really bad gardener. But Little Cook Small knew better. I could tell straight away what the problem was. I started to pull up the leafy things, and underneath the earth, I found carrots. Mary Mary realised she must have planted the wrong seeds. They weren't flower seeds, they were carrot seeds. And very good carrots they were too. We poured them up together until we had stacks and stacks of juicy orange carrots. Then we planted the flower seeds in the empty garden. Mary Mary was going to have to wait until the flowers grew. But in the meantime, she put a big display of lovely orange carrots on her stool. Then she made carrot soup, carrot cake and carrot juice for all her customers. Little Cook to the rescue once again! That was a great adventure. Well, roast my potatoes. Oh, what a lovely story, Small. Way! Thanks, Ben. So what are we going to make for Mary Mary Quite Contrary? Well, why don't we make her some silver bells and cockle shells? Oh, oh no, Small. I don't think they'd be very tasty. Oh. This needs some careful thought. Hmm. 
Cookery book, there's recipes for everything in there. And where do we look for things to cook? In the book, in the book, in Big Cook's book. Oh, yes, the very thing. Fancy flowers. Mary Mary will love these. They remind her of her garden. Come on, Small, you read out the ingredients and I'll see if we've got them. OK, let's see. We're going to need butter. OK, over to the fridge. Here we go. There we are. Butter. An egg. One egg. Got the egg small. Caster sugar. Oh, over in the cupboard. Here we are. Caster sugar. Yep. Plain flour. Oh, plain flour. There we go. And boiled sweets. Boiled sweets, boiled sweets. Uh, uh yes. Oh, here we are. Everything we need, apart from the boiled sweets. I was a little bit hungry earlier, Small, and I ate them. They are my favourite. You've eaten all the boiled sweets? Well, don't worry, Ben. It's another job for Little Cook Small and his magic spoonmobile. Great idea, Small. And I'll get everything ready. Hey, why don't you come along too? Whee! Go, Small, go, Small, whiz away! I wonder what he'll see today. I'm in the right place here. This is where sweets are made. Sweets are made from sugar. All the ingredients are mixed together and heated up in a big pan. It's really hot. Look at all the steam. Yeah, this one's turned red. He's going to make orange and red sweets. Ah, I love sweets, but I make sure I brush my teeth after eating them. It's all gooey! Yummy! That machine is rolling out the sweets. There's hundreds of sweets, but they're all joined together. When they've cooled down, they're all broken up. Sweets come in lots of pretty colours, just like the flowers in Mary Mary's garden. Mmm, that was fun! See you later! I think I've earned a nice, tasty boiled sweet now. Did you bring any back, Small? Way! I certainly did, Ben. It was amazing watching the sweet maker. First, he mixed lots of hot, sticky stuff on a table. And as it cooled, he turned it into lots of colourful boiled sweets. And here they are. <whistles> Whoa! Oh, thanks, Small. All measured out and ready to cook. We're all ready, so take a look, and we will show you how to cook. The jelly boats and pirates gold, princess pea pies, carrot cakes and fruity smiles, and envelope surprise. We love our cafe and we love to cook. We have a fantastic recipe book. He is big cook and he is small. Friends in our cafe, we cook for them all. When your tummy gets all rumbly, you're ready for a treat. You can make something delicious to eat. Have you cleaned the surfaces? <laughs> 
Yes? Have you washed your hands? Yes! All clean and ready to cook. Do you remember the ingredients to fancy flowers? You do? There was butter, 200 grams, an egg, one, caster sugar, 200 grams, plain flour, 400 grams, and boiled sweets, six. Whoopee! Let's get started! First of all, I'm going to turn on the oven to 180 degrees Celsius, gas mark four. And make sure you get your grown-up helper to do that bit for you, because the oven is hot, hot, hot. <laughs> And be careful not to fall over on one of those sweets, Small. <laughs> as if I do something as daft as... <laughs> oh! Just making sure. Hmm. Right. I'm going to get these sweets sorted out once and for all. And I'm going to put the sugar... ...and the butter... ...a little bit more, into a mixing bowl. And I'm going to cream them both together. Creaming is a special kind of mixing. Here we go. All the red ones first. One, two, three. There we are. All nice, pale, creamy and fluffy. So now it's time to add your egg. In it goes. And I'm going to give it a good stir. Round and round, get it all mixed in. Now it's time to sort the yellow sweets. One, two, three, four. Now we need this to be a little bit thicker. And what makes things thicker? That's right, flour does. Hey, <laughs> So I'm going to add in our flour a little bit at a time. There we are. And as I'm doing this, I'm going to give it a bit of a stir with the spoon. In it goes, keep stirring, mix it all in together. And last of all, the orange. I wonder how many there are. One, two, three. Here we are. Oh, and this is the fun part. Now I'm going to squidge it up with my nice clean hands. Here we go. Oh, yes. Give it a good old scrunch up. This will teach you sweets. Keep you in order. <laughs> there are five red, four yellow, and three orange. There we are. Look at that. Perfect. So now I need to roll it out to make the biscuits. I've already floured the board, so I just need to start rolling it. There we are. Turn it round. Very good. There we are. There'll be no more slipping over on sweets. <laughs> oh, these biscuits are going to be very tasty. And they're going to look just like the flowers in Mary Mary's garden. So, I'm going to use this flower-shaped pastry cutter to cut out the biscuits. So, I'm going to pop it down on there. Press down. <sighs> And then, oh, up it comes. I'm going to scoop it up. There we are, nice and careful. And pop it onto a grease baking tray. There. And now I need to use this round pastry cutter to take a little hole out of the middle. On it goes. Twist it, and out it comes. There's one. And now for another. Mary, Mary, is such a beautiful garden. I wish we had silver bells and cockle shells in our garden. It would make the vegetable patch look so pretty. And just finish off the last one. There we are. These holes are going to be for our boiled sweets, which we're going to pop in later. We need to let them cook a little first. So, in the oven they go for 10 minutes until they're nice and golden. I'll set the timer. For 10 minutes. There. <laughs> The biscuits are ready. There we are. We just need to leave them to cool down for a couple of minutes. So how are those sweets coming along, Small? Ready when you are, Ben. All present and correct. Which colour would you like first? Oh, that doesn't matter, Small. We're going to have multicoloured flowers. Mary Mary will love that. Thanks, 
very much. You've messed up all my sweets, Ben. Oh, sorry, Small. <laughs> These are cool now, so I'm going to pop in the boiled sweets. One there, one there, another one in there, one there, and that one, and then that one. Brilliant. Multicolored flower biscuits. Oh, Mary Mary's going to love these. And don't worry if your boiled sweet doesn't fill up the hole you've cut out. They'll spread out once they're in the oven, which is where they're going right now. So, oven gloves on, and we pop them back in the oven for another three minutes. And remember to get your grown-up helper to do this bit for you, because the oven is hot, hot, hot. There we go. And now we wait. They're as pretty as real flowers, Ben. Mary, Mary, quite contrary, is going to love these. Oh, no doubt about it, Small. Just look at the light shining through. Mmm, they look great. Fancy flowers coming through. So what do we do now? Can we play? Not yet. Time to clean and put away. Hooray! Wash, wipe, scrub and clean. Make the kitchen sparkle and gleam. My name's Ben and my name's Small. We've got the cleanest kitchen of all. Tidy all the bits and bobs, the things that help us do our jobs. Ingredients we'll put away, ready for use another day. Pots and pans will start to smell, if we don't wash them really well. And now it's clear, let's all smile, we'll be finished in a little while. All around, up and down, we've got the cleanest cafe in town. Aha, here comes the plate. Hey! It looks like Mary Mary enjoyed her fancy flowers. And look, Small, there's a note. Well, what does it say? What does it say? Let's see, shall we? It says, Dear Big Cook Ben and Little Cook Small, the fancy flowers were yummy! <laughs> and to say thank you, here's some real flowers from my garden. Isn't that kind? Ben? Are you thinking what I'm thinking? I think I might be. What are you thinking? Happy, Happy birthday, birthday, Aunt Millie! Oh, hey. See you soon. See you soon. Oh, yeah. Big cook, little cook, welcome to our cafe. Big cook, little cook, we'll cook forever.